Oma CBS have a magnificent tradition in the promotion of Gaelic games in their school. And I have here Keelan O'Hagan, who this year was captain of the victorious Corn and Oak team. Keelan, what was it like to play at Corn and Oak this year? And especially, what was it like to be on the winning side at the end of the term? Oh yeah, it's brilliant. You know, it's, it's always a privilege to represent your school um, in any competition, but to be on the winning side, it, it is something special. Like, uh, we knew from first year we had a great panel. Um, we kind of just couldn't find that a final touch to finish it off. But you know, this year it kind of gelled well, and it wasn't easy. The final final was definitely a, a very very hard match, and Calvin put it up to us with very very physical uh, opponents. But you know, we, we knew we had the strength, and with great coaches that we have and great teachers in the school, you know, we, we were never really in doubt that we could do it. And no doubt, Keelan, you sense the excitement in the school this week with. The McCrory Cup panel being the centre of attention and I'm sure that in a few years time you would like to emulate them and play McCrory Cup football. Oh yeah, it's deadly, you know, walking in the corridors and you see the older lads and it's just, it's a class feeling. You know, since winning the corner, we've already been thinking about going on up the, the categories and on up the edges and it, it's class, you know, and they're great role models, you know, boys from your own club, like my club, Kelly Clower there, you have Mark Hayes and Oren Grimes, goalkeeper and full forward and you know they're great role models and not only that just the whole team is class. Larkin the school is in its first McCrory final since 2014 uh, what are your feelings ahead of the big game are you nervous excited? Uh, well I suppose there's a great sense of pride among the boys uh, reaching the final uh, and even watching teams that have won the McCrory Cup in the past and got to finals uh, we hope to emulate what they did. Uh, there's also a great level of nerves but positive nerves will turn them into excitement uh, because we know well, how good a feeling it is to win the McCrory Cup, uh, so hope to turn them into a positive light. I suppose uh, there's also there's a great sense of camaraderie among the boys, uh, boys from all over the county, uh, boys that we've grown up with the whole way up through school. Um, so it's great to get there and great to finish off the journey and hopefully we'll continue on in the competition. Rory, you're one of three players from your club, Glenelli, on the OMA CBS panel for this year's McCrory final. What does it mean for your club, Lanelli, to be part of the biggest occasion in Ulster schools football? Yeah, well, personally, my club, it's one of the smallest clubs in the room, so to have three boys starting on this McCurry team in the final is absolutely massive for us. Uh, when we go down to the, the club, we're coaching under 10s, and for them boys to look up to us is probably massive for them, so it gives us a great sense of pride within the club, and everyone's behind us and backing us, so it's massive, yeah. Liam, you're the captain of this year's OMA CBS McCrory Cup team. What were your aims at the start of the year as a panel when you first met? Uh, we first met in the summer before we came back from the school. And, you know, you look out at the start of the year and you're just aiming to win every match. So that's what we've done. And, you know, I suppose at the back of your mind, you're always thinking of the McCrory final. You're always thinking of it from your young young fella coming up in the school, you know, and I suppose then whenever we got till after the McCormick we realised we realised the quality we have in the ranks, you know, and uh, we just came through then and lucky enough we got through the, the quarter final and then the semi. It was two was two battles like but just glad glad to be there now and glad to be competing. So no doubt you're looking forward to the final? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um I suppose we're a week out now and you know, preparations, we're just trying to, trying to get everyone prepared properly to put in a performance next week.